and welcome back to another episode of Space Engineers Survival Records. Last time we did a little scouting, did a little dune buggy joyriding, and discovered that there is a Wastelanders outpost just on the other side of those hills. You can see it in the distance there in my orbit cam. And uh, I left off the last recording on my way back to our uh, escape pod, but I noticed something interesting. Or something that piqued my interest, at least. This Glaucodot. Uh, directly underneath where I am parked, right? But the thing is, I'm parked on top of a mountain. Now, it's slightly tempting to consider going down to the base of the mountain and then digging a level tunnel into wherever this uh, this resource is, this Glaucodot. Because if I bring that back and refine it, then I can start making up some metal grids and that'll open up a whole lot more opportunities for me. I'll be able to slap a turret on top of the dune buggy here. And with a turret, I, I have a, you know, a lot better uh, chance, uh, likelihood, of surviving uh, going up against one of these encounters on the ground here. But I also want to check out what the Guardian is. And, I mean, look, at it's on... That's some... Yeah, that's some rough terrain between here and there, so... Uh, maybe what I'll do is I'll head over for the Guardian first to see what opportunities it offers. I'm guessing it's going to be difficult to collect. I mean, how could it not be, right? So anyway, um, I think I'll do that first before I worry about drilling to the 228 meters down on this one. I'll see what that Guardian has to offer. Uh, and if it proves just as difficult as anything, maybe I'll grab my rifle and see if I can attack that outpost from the Wastelanders. So, uh, yeah, I'll bring you back when I am checking out the Guardian. Yeah, but before I can do any of that, I gotta run away from this cult graph guy here, because, man, it's, uh, he is not... Like in me, as he said, uh, defensive measures will be taken. That'll be unpleasant, I'm sure. Alright, he's cleared off a little bit. Now, I'll check out that Guardian. Oh yeah, this is nice. Nice, smooth level terrain. This will work out good. Well, this is something interesting. Yeah, look at that. This little oasis here. That bright green grass I figured was something important. And I'm right, there's ice under here. Or at least some form of, you know, H2O. Let's enter that into the GPS too. Alright. <laughs> I love taking this thing off jumps. Oh, big rock. There we go. Oh, hey, another one. May as well, right? So, let's see what... Uh 
What's over the ridge? Alright, we're in turret range now, so we gotta be very, really careful. It's a crashed ship. All right. Yes, I think it's a crashed ship. All right, I'm going to see about Moving in down along that ridge, using that little hilltop as cover, and see what I can see about getting closer to it. And of course, as I got closer, I found that there's another antenna here, M Corp. Those are the ones that were sending those construction drones, yeah? Alright, well, let's check out what the, the Guardian is. I'm gonna get closer to it, I'm gonna go down around that way and come in. I mean, nothing was shooting at me yet, so maybe it's uh, not a problem. Of course, I got a sandstorm to deal with. Keeping an eye out for any turret fire. Ooh, just knocked that tree right over, didn't I? little closer. I don't have any binoculars or uh, a scope to zoom in and check things out with. Man, look at the size of that thing. Well, nothing's shooting at me yet. Uh. I just don't see... I mean, now I have not, no cover at all, so... Uh, back and forth, serpentine. Ah, well, the sandstorm clearing up certainly helps. Oh, there are some turrets on there. And that one turret on the back is moving around right now. Ooh. Ooh, and those are large hydrogen thrusters. Ooh, that's going to be a lot of goodies on that. If I come at it from the front, however, I might be able to avoid getting in range, uh, getting in, in field of fire, uh, a field of fire of any of those turrets. So, yeah, I'm going to do that. Hmm. Yeah. Come on. Oh, man. Okay, I could do one thing. It's a little... riskier. Just, you know... Drive right past it, see if it uh, starts shooting at me. And look at this. Oh, there's a turret right there. Is it not set to uh, notice me as a problem? Oh man, there's another. Uh, it's a partially constructed turret on the side there. Okay, okay. This isn't as. 
This isn't as bad as it could be. I mean, that turret could certainly have been shooting at me. Oh, gosh, look at everything on here. All right, well, I'm going to make note of this. Yeah. I oh fuel critical. Whoa. Okay, so those guns were not inactive. slightly wrong move and oof <laughs> oh man ah. good thing this suit has some built in inertial dampeners because oh that would have been deadly otherwise ouch okay um I guess I don't have much choice anymore. I can't go back to the skate pod. Uh, I just really hope that this small turret on the front here isn't somehow bugged out and wasn't working earlier, but is now. Because I have to figure out what to use here to, uh, to fix myself up. Oh, ouch. Ah, indeed. Yeah, you don't start shooting at me, mister. Alright, um... Okay... Okay, what do I have to work with here? What is... Are those all... Modules of some kind on a large refinery, perhaps? Jeez, that'd be impressive. Ooh, nothing there. Let's see, does uh, this give me access to anything? No. Oof, and that turret is right there. This is a an O2 generator. Those shots were coming from a turret on the side of this thing? Yeah, right there. Okay. What have we got on this end of things? And this thing's got a hydrogen engine working in there still. And the thing's buried in the sand. Still spinning. Oh. Now I'm stuck. Alright. 
There's got to be a way for me to get inside the ship. These panels here. All right. None of those turrets are close enough that if I start grinding this thing, they're going to shoot at me or are capable of hitting me. All right. Uh, da, 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 let's see what we can do. Our reputation with the scrappers has gone down. And... Well, uh... Fuel critical. Oh, now you notice that my jetpack fuel is critical. Thanks. What are you doing? This is inside. Batteries topped off because that engine's been running. Oh, but it still has enough hydrogen in at least that tank to show. No turrets in here. You know what I'm gonna do? research hydrogen engines oh boy all right got lots of conveyors why is this just a box in the back of the ship here that's weird what is that All right, let's get a look at what's inside here. All right, so this is networked to, well, I won't show me everything it's networked to, but we've got assemblers, Beacon, camera, connectors, and are we showing all the hidden blocks? Okay. Yeah, the list is a lot longer when it's shown. Okay. All right, air vents, airtight hangar doors, batteries, beds, camera, connectors, lights, gatling turrets. We've got one of them is complete on the outside. Hmm. Gravgen. Gyroscopes. Lots of gyroscopes. Some hydrogen engines. Hydrogen tanks. Hydrogen thrusters. Interior lights. Interior turrets. Jump drives. Hey now. And it looks like they're complete, intact jump drives. That's... That's significant. Well, looky here, we got these landing gears and the hydrogen thrusters, but a medical room. Alrighty then. <sighs> Missile turrets, O2 generators... Offset door, oxygen, two refineries. All right, okay. A 
reactor speed modules, spotlights, yield modules. So I have struck gold. I mean, heck, in the case of those jump um, jump engines there, literally, I've struck gold. And now it's just a matter of figuring out how to take advantage of it. Oh, and there is another. Yeah. You hear that? There's another engine on the other side here. So I don't understand why this is laid out the way it is. Maybe this is just a void space to, uh, you know, lighten the weight of the ship. Well, speed. I'm gonna not cut through a conveyor, but this light armor block. Fuel critical. Oh, it's got the jump engine there. The jump drive. Ah, I bet you there were two jump drives in this spot here, and maybe the ship crashed because they didn't have them anymore? That could make sense. Yeah, just in case there's a turret on the other side of it. Alright, I'm clearly not inside the main hold of the ship here. I... Uh... Ooh, okay. Let's... Dig my way through. Got a... Ah, there we go. That's looking good. Yeah, that's inside the ship properly. This is like a hangar of some kind. Oof, good thing there was no interior turrets. Oh. That is... Because uh, the whole ship is sloped backward. Yeah. Ooh, this is neat. Look at this. It, uh, it had... This is like a hangar bay. Ooh, and look at this. All right, so I can't replicate those medical components quite yet. However, all I needed to do was that. And turn it on. Alright, guys. I've got a medical room. And I've got a... Ooh, a scrapped... You know, well, not quite yet scrapped ship. I'm gonna have to slowly dig my way through it. Panel by panel. Trying to get to where those hydrogen engines are, because I don't want them eating up all of the hydrogen. Because I don't think I'm going to get this thing flying anytime soon, but even if I wanted to, I, I'd need that hydrogen for takeoff. Ah, uh, this is nifty. I like it. I like it a lot. Oof, and I have to... S <laughs> uh, all right. Oh, there's the refinery. There's the other refinery. 
Ooh, this is cool. The interior the hangar shuttles. Ah, oh, man. Imagine if I could get this thing flying again. That'd be a that'd be a chore. Well, first things first. Let's uh, see about getting control of the control seat. All right, look at this. Now this is quite a ship. Oh man, okay, it's got that forward launch bay. Eat. All right. All right. Well, that's pretty cool. Come on. Just trying to see, you know, about what the line is for where things are underground in the dirt. And, you know, if there's any feasibility to digging it out. Because, man, once these things get impacted with soil, there's just no way of, uh, of clearing it out from there. At least no feasible way. Oh, looks like it took a little damage at some point. Shots going up on the exterior there. Well, I'm going to catch my breath and... Relax in here for a minute. Uh, critical. Maybe figure out what I can do about that fuel critical. Uh, yeah, and oof. Try to get access to some of those turrets. Turn them off so I can go out there and collect my dune buggies pieces. Oh man. Well, at least I didn't have anything particularly valuable on there. I had actually considered putting my uh, survival kit on it. Yikes. Okay. I'll uh, I'll collect my thoughts and bring you back. Alright. I've been having to think. And the first thing I ought to do is get rid of the beacon that's in there. And uh, that way, if any enemy faction comes by, they're not going to see it. Uh, I don't know what their relations to each other are, but... You know, worst case scenario, something like a Reaver shows up and just is attracted to any old beacon, and I'm going to get rid of that. After that, I'm going to grind through the wall and get to where that turret is, the one that messed up the dune buggy. Uh, poor dune buggy. You are well enjoyed. I'll get out there and fix you soon enough, if I can. Um, and then there's one on the top and the back there, and I think it's, like, directly behind the bridge. Yeah, so that's the bridge in there. Alright, let's get to it. Fuel critical. Yes, yes, my fuel is critical. I know, I gotta fix that. But, uh, first things first, the beacon. And I don't want to carry around all those radio components, so I'm just going to get it to be disabled, not uh, worry about hacking it. Oof, yeah. Can I put them back into it? Yeah. Yeah, alright, good. Okay, so... Right, because I know how to build beacons, because beacons are uh, default open. So it was on this side of the ship? I think it's that block there. Oh, no. Come on. There we go. I thought it was next to. What is it? 
through again? Another one? Ah, yeah, there we go. Oh, da -da 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 -da. Let's get this guy dead. And can I... Uh, unknown technology. Of course. Uh, I'll sort that out shortly. I just want to get the rest of the turrets down as well. And so this next one was directly behind here. Yeah, there he is. See? Um, don't want to grind through my med bay, so what if I go under it? Ooh, that's a uh, that's a, a a projector. Um, interesting. Let me put. Can I, will that be good to get out? No, I need to put it the sideways. And I probably want to put the smaller one in. Yeah, okay. I can get in and out. Um, I don't want to grind up that beacon. Because... Not beacon. Um, oh, there's a cult ship. Alright, they're moving sideways and they're not going to come close. Um, I don't want to grind up that projector. Because if... I know my ship design, that projector has a blueprint of this ship stored inside of it. And obviously this ship is, uh, you know, it's got, got some damage to it, it's got some pieces missing. I might want to use that blueprint to see if I could actually fix up the ship and get it flying. I mean, I'm, in the grand scheme of things, I'm only cemented into a rather small section over there. Now, I'd never have a hope of digging it out completely, and I mean, even though it's just a tiniest bit there, it's still a matter of figuring out where every last little scrap of cement is baked into those engines. Uh, there's it would just be completely impractical for me to try and dig it out. But at the same time, there is a lot of hydrogen in here. Uh, this tank is 99.2% full. This tank is... That's two large hydrogen tanks all the way full. I think there was a bunch of small ones as well. That's... Jeez, how many of them? 14, and they're all 99.2% full. So that's something I'm going to think about. Whether I want to rebuild this ship, reuse this ship in a way that allows me to keep those hydrogen tanks. I mean, this is a this is what I was hoping for, honestly, when I came down this way, was something to get me started and get a uh, get a, a foothold down here. Um, I found some sources of raw material. I've got some guns I can work on, you know, fixing up, and I've got a, it's honestly, it's a pretty cool looking little ship. I like the wedge design. Reminds me of some of the, uh, some of the smaller, uh, Corvettes from, uh, from Star Wars, like the Architans with the rear thing there, the Guardian. I'm liking, I think what I might do is gain access to that projector, see about, Loading up the blueprint into a virtual world. I'm going to have to build a uh, console to interact with that. And 
I'm going to decide whether I want to, you know, rebuild this as is, maybe make some modifications to the blueprint, rebuild it off to the side where I could uh, add on a, a way to steal all of the hydrogen out of all these tanks and then uh, and then move forward. But you know what? This recording is getting a little long in the tooth. So I am going to cut it out here. Say thank you for watching. Press the bell, wrong button. And uh, catch you next time on Survival Records. See ya.